What I'm about to show you is probably the deadliest combo you can do out of any hero using their ability. Takeda is one of the most powerful characters in Uraka Blade Point and can deal the highest damage out of any hero if handled correctly. His highlighted strength is the ability to accomplish what is known as a TOD, or Touch of Death, meaning that you can take someone from 100% health to 0 depending on the opponent's buff stats, skill, and ultimate. In this video, I will cover everything you need to know to master Takeda, including his abilities, counters, and tips. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, this video has something for you to start winning more games. Takeda's F1 is a favorite among new players as you are granted 10 seconds of immunity against focus attacks where it grants you 200 to 300 HP depending on your health and also grabs the enemy's weapon. Keep in mind though that the only exception to this are long sword focus attacks from a distance as it is an energy beam and can cause your F to not work and take considerable hits unless you are right next to your opponent. However, I strongly recommend that you should consider using this F in trios or duos. However, if you do wish to stick with F1 in solos, you can use it looking that most players will try to parry you, and if you get the timing right, you can catch them mid-parry and do some combos. F2 is probably the most versatile F out of all three abilities for Takeda, and is a personal favor of mine. If a person either holds blue or focus attacks you, you can F to obtain their weapon and restore anywhere from 200 to 400 HP depending on your health. Although its biggest selling point is its ability to be used as a combo extender. You see, many combos that are well known in the game can be used with Takeda's F2 in order to extend combos and cause extra damage. And this F is one of the few Fs by heroes that can cause TODs just by using your F. If you have a background in fighting games or you're mainly a combo player, this F might be for you. I would recommend learning dual weapon combos, katana and dual blades for example, as it can truly highlight how deadly his F2 can be. It is so ridiculous that you may not even have to use your ultimate and can quickly kill your opponent within seconds, even with common grey weapons. If you'd like to learn more about F2 Takeda combos, I made a comprehensive guide where you can check out in the description. Another thing that I'd like to mention is that if you successfully parry your opponent, you can even further punish him by restanding him with your F2, meaning that you can get a free combo off just for an extra damage and usually by then the person is already dead. Keep in mind though that it would leave Takeda vulnerable as he does not have a golden focus so that means it can easily be interrupted with a light attack. I would personally recommend sticking to solos with this ability as it leaves Takeda too vulnerable. Perhaps you can play it in duos although it depends on your teammates F abilities and whether or not it can bail you out of trouble. One thing that I would add though is that if you have your ultimate and you would like to go for a katana infinite for example, knowing that your opponent does not have a combo breaker at this moment, you can actually unsheath your weapon, punch them, and F to restand your opponent and you can start any infinite you want. F3 is the most commonly used ability in solos and for competitive play. It grants you a golden focus that you are able to use against someone who is either holding blue or attacking you with a focus attack. 
Most people who successfully F someone is that they ult immediately using their V1 to get a free focus attack. But I strongly recommend that you go for some combo variations with your ultimate as to cause the maximum amount of damage available to you. When your opponent uses a focus attack on you, you're able to F them, which then leads to them getting slammed to the ground, and if your opponent does not have a combo breaker, you're able to immediately activate your V1 to get any combo variation you want. Keep in mind that while the other two Fs are able to obtain the weapon of the enemy, F3 got a nerf a while back where you can't really do that anymore, so all you have is its ability to be used as a ultimate caster to start anything you want, whether it's a combo or a free focus attack. However, in trio scenarios or even duos, if your teammate gets parried, you can cancel the parry follow-up with your F and save your teammate. Ideally, this ability is for someone who wishes to have a very straightforward method of dealing damage to their opponent. V1 is the most popular ultimate for Takeda, however, most players use it incorrectly. Most of the time, they use it to get a free focus attack, but the true nature of this ultimate is when you use it as a combo extender. There are many variations of combos you can do with V1 with certain weapons, notably with Takeda Infinite, which utilizes the katana, as well as some variations with the pole sword and staff or dual swap combos. I encourage you to experiment and see which style works for you and which combos are easier. And if you'd like to learn more about V1, I do recommend that you check out past dues guides as it covers everything you need to know about V1, from beginner to intermediate level to advanced, as they are separated in three videos. So V1 is a solid choice for solos and perhaps even duos, but I would recommend sticking to V3 for trios.